Good morning and welcome back. How are we doing? So, as you've seen in the last video, she's MOT'd. Hi, Dane. She is all nicely MOT'd and ready for the road, kind of. But there's still <laughs> plenty to do. Speakers work, no sub, no interior. There's so much to do on this thing. But she's road legal. Start driving her. And Mr. Dynamo's van. Windows and doors are all on. I mean, she looks beautiful. This thing is coming together very, very nicely. In fact, tomorrow she's getting an MOT. Hello, Mr. John. How are we, sir? This is John's van. He's had this thing in here, just doing a little bit of work to it. He was having some hydro issues. Nice big batteries, and now she works perfect. But. This is what John is taking on the NC500, his actual hydro van. So we're all taking our own personal vehicles, which is gonna be nice that we'll actually be on the trip in our vehicles. And as you can hear, John's playing hydros. Get his rear sorted out, because obviously at the minute, there's nothing really for him to stay. So we need to build a bed. What are we going to do? We're going to build a wooden frame, slap a big mat soon. Literally just have a full-size yeah. bed in the back of your van. Well, what do you think about this? Like Perfect. It's nice to actually see all our vans in the workshop. But we're going to have a little bit of a move about and see what's actually uh, happening. i got some stuff I need to get done for that. But we need to have a bit of a move about. So we're going to get this done and I'll pick this up in a minute. So, see you in a moment. Right, there we go. Workshop's all nice and cleaned. Vans are all moved about. In fact, as you can see, we're actually out in one. And John said it was a perfect opportunity to uh, give us yeah, a few miles under this belt. And she got 2,000 ahead of her. So what's the old verdict, John? Brilliant, it's nice. Enjoying it? Yeah, it's fun. Loving the white van. Look at that. It's quite small, it's quite powerful. It does exactly what it says on the tip. I thought I'd just show you this lot, but we're going to get back to the workshop when we get there. We'll pick up something, I guess. So I'll see you in a moment. All right, there we go. We're back from our little adventure. And she performed perfectly, but the monkey van, <coughs> she needs to be emptied of my stuff. You haven't got a lot in here to be fair, but emptied a few bits and bobs in here out. Put them into this bad boy. Hi John. This van, as you can see just in there, the bolt snapped off as he was trying to take a shock out. So he's come and asked if John could take it out for him. So that's John's job, is to remove the end of that bolt. Mr. Dynamo's van's over here. With a mirror? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Diane's got the MOT booked on this tomorrow. Yes. So yeah, he's got a couple of bits to do on that, but yeah. Nothing he can't sort. This van. Yeah. Because yeah, it's all in. Little hob. Put a bit on um yeah, a little bit more than here, a little bit more than there. And that, you know what's best? If you zoom that, that's the actual part. You can see the weld. The weld is still here. Oh yeah, I can see it. That's, that's actually weld. Right. That was the weld. What's that? That's mad, that is. It does actually weld. See the weld? A little bit weld in here, which is nothing. I'm going to carry on emptying that out and putting that in there and finalizing stuff. And then I've got to order a new power steering belt. For this but i'm gonna carry on moving stuff about get this out of the way and start working on that so once i start getting on that pick a camera up soon and back again wish i picked a camera up a little bit more than i did but just so much has happened in a short period of time um, i'm actually driving just behind john we are in a nice little convoy well me and john are i don't know who the rest of these people are john's just off to go deliver that and I obviously need to bring him back 
Plus I needed to pop to the parts man because I had to pick up a few little bits. Um, what else happened? Dyes adapted my steering boss. Um, I was talking to him about it and asked if he could, uh, or if there was a way that it could be adapted. In true die fashion, he went, let me have a look. And five minutes later, come back and went, like this? I was like, yeah, pretty much exactly like that. So that was very kind of him. Right, we're gonna get these vans delivered and I'll pick a camera up once we get back to the workshop and see what's happening when we get there. So see you in a moment. Right, there we are, back at the shop van is over the pit because i have to replace the power steering belt but john is on this van and we're having a couple of little issues like it won't start how long did you say this van's been not vanning eight years I think. eight years this thing's been uh, abandoned and then john's had to pull out all of this which was for the immobilizer so he's had to pull all of that lot out and just tried to start it over, start it over, turn it over and she was having none of it. But while that's happening, I need to put my uh, power steering belt on. So the power steering belt or alternator belt or whatever belt you want to call that, but it's a bit loose. So that is my new belt which hopefully well it's actually a tad bit shorter than the one that's on there so hopefully that all um, works we did notice when you're turning it it's ever so slightly notchy so need to get that belt put on that problem resolved so i need to get that thing pulled off i won't be showing you that because it's going to be a pain to be able to try and record that so i'm going to get that belt put on there and once i've done that pick a camera up and show you so see you tomorrow what an absolute nightmare that was i replaced the belt put that on now she's nice and tight and i did you can see it's a bit wet i did replace the actual pump as well as the old one um i have noticed when i go sort of turn to turn it's ever so slightly notchy so i changed that and hopefully that will be the fix absolute mess fest that was <sighs> The van that hasn't been started in eight years, she is working again. So well done, John. At least that's done. I need to try and tidy up all these tools. So I've just got bits of rubbish everywhere. Mr. John has pulled out the hydro van. He's having a bit of a play, sorting stuff out. I think he's looking for a new ram for the front. So we'll go and have a little look at that in a bit. And I think Dai's, I'm not too sure what Dai's doing, but we'll get on that in a bit. I wish I picked the camera up a little bit more, but I've just been kind of in the zone trying to get stuff done. Um, I kind of need to clean this lot out because it's just a bit of, I mean, I've just got old brakes and just rubbish. So that's my next job, I think. Pull this lot out and tidy it up. Ah, and I do want to sort the gear stick out because it's too low. Right, anyway. I'm going to sort of tidy up the tools and the mess that I've made. I think I need a coffee as well. Anyway, it's not messing about. I'm going to get some stuff done. When something happens in a minute, pick the camera up, show you what's going on. So, see you tomorrow. Well, I have done an absolute phenomenal job of filming nothing. I have... Well just kind of got lost in doing a few bits and bobs and completely forgot to put the camera up, unfortunately, so sorry about that. But, given this little bit of a clean out, not perfect. Leisure battery, I don't even know what's under there. And then everything else is all tidied up. That I need to put in the front, which might be tomorrow's job. Oh, magnets. But yeah, I need to put the carpet in the front just to get it out of the way, because that is doing my head in. And the only thing underneath there, is cool box and i think the subs under there somewhere as well so i've just chucked all that in the back but yeah she is ready to go home with me today. today yeah and mr dynamo is doing some unwanted electricals yeah because nothing's easy ever all i wanted to do is put his glove box in 
guy's having all the fun. But he's also done his single wiper conversion. The only difference between his and mine is he's got a longer blade. We sort of measured the blade size and he's got a bigger blade. But he, I should really show you this. Well, he did wrap the, the front grill, but look at that. Oh, he lights right in the way, quality. Obviously it's gonna have the pillars, so you're not gonna see the yellow. Look at that, single wiper, times two, perfect. But he's just putting the rest of the dash all back together again. I'm not quite sure what else he's doing. I'll have to ask him in a bit. But this is going for an MOT tomorrow. Perfect. So that got MOT'd. Perfect. That's getting MOT'd. Perfect. And then we all have MOT'd vehicles. Oh, I think John's runs out just before NC. So John's will be getting an MOT. So, yeah, everything's coming together, slowly but very surely. And again, apologies for not picking the camera up. I've just been sort of lost in getting my van ready to go home. Happy, happy, happy. Look at this, new van, old van. That's quite cool. Very much looking forward to driving this bad boy in. Not gonna lie, ever so slightly nervous, but she will be coming home with me. Also, that door is going to be getting painted very soon. There's the paint. Thank you, Josh. That'll get painted, so at least it will match. I don't even mind the blue bumper as much, but I'll probably end up just chucking some black on that. I have got a lot of other stuff I need to get done, like electrics and... Oh, I'm not even going to bother. But there's still a lot of stuff to do. So if I get time, I'll do it. If I don't, I don't. Like I said, I would like to paint that door bare minimum. As I showed earlier, John attacked this one and fair play to him. He managed to pull out all of the crappy old electrics for the immobilizer. And he did have to put a new starter motor on because the one that was in there fried itself. So he put that in, done a few other electrical bits and after eight years of not running, fired into life. Now, yeah, it's got a lot of other stuff to do. It's, I mean, it's just everywhere's crusty and these brakes and these ball joints and these steering arms and these suspension. Um, I think he said it needs springs, I'm not sure. But everything needs a little bit of a, a fettle. Nothing he can't manage though, but, I'm gonna go make us a coffee, give Di a hand doing a bit more to his van. And I think the next time you see me, I'll be driving this old girl back. Happy day. So I'm gonna get some stuff done and I'll see you on the way home. So see you in a bit. And welcome to the next day. I know I said I was gonna pick a camera up when I left, but the time me and Di done a few more little bits and then left. Then I went for a little bit of a drive in this, just enjoying it. It was sort of, quite late and I was just thinking you know what I should really go to bed so I didn't pick a camera but it's the next morning and I back off up to the workshop again as you can see I'm driving the van still so everything went quite well um, yeah it's surprisingly a very smooth drive um, it's a little bit loud and there's an annoying squeak in the back. Um, the loudness, I think, doesn't help that I have removed most of the sound deadening from inside the engine bay, which was my own doing. There is an annoying squeak in the back, and I don't think that window's closed all the way, but you can quite easily just drive it. I mean, I'm doing 45 now, and it's not loud, it's not like droning, but I'm going to stop rabbiting on, do the last little bit, get to the workshop, pick a camera straight back up again and do today's video. So hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, please give me a massive thumbs up and go over to Facebook. Give the Dog Houses Facebook a like for me, please, because 
none of this would have been possible without them. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for putting up with our dumbass. And as always, take it easy.